I mean, in ideal world, it would be perfect to request information about the business and you're getting this package. Of course, after you sign the NDA, you're getting clean financials. You see the business works with or without the operator, but these are the things that you need to be need to have in place as a buyer in order for you to operate. So basically everything is transparent. Yes. So you can uh, just make a logical decision to proceed forward or not and not struggle. Yeah, I see a huge need for what you're doing. It's it's amazing that you saw it and uh, actually put together a tool that yes. assists. And we do. So when somebody moves through our dashboard, what they're doing is they're actually doing everything from doing, they have to do some writing, you know, because you have to kind of provide a narrative around your financials. You can't just send someone P&L statements. I mean, you can, but you want to explain and add commentary to it. There needs to be a history of the business. Why did it start? What makes this thing special? There's explaining the deal opportunity. So all this stuff gets pulled together in the dashboard, but then it translates into, you know, really two things. One is a sale page. So when you're ready and you say, hey, look, I, I want to start telling people that my business is for sale. Because what we say is telling them your business is for sale before you're ready could be one of the biggest or the biggest mistake you'll ever make. The other is when we've you've increased your sale readiness score and you're ready to kind of share that, you have a page that you can put out there and people ask, I, I get this question a lot. What do we think about online marketplace? And if through your subscription plan and you're working with us, we may say, we think it's a good idea and here's why. We may say, I think it's a bad idea. Here's why. Ultimately, it's up for that owner to decide. But what I can tell you is online marketplaces don't serve you well if your business is hyper-local. So if it requires that all of your suppliers and customers are you know, in, in a local community, Somebody living in Austin, Texas, looking at a business in Miami, Florida, unless they plan on moving there, it's quite frankly, it's a waste of your dollars and time. And then when you're ready to move into due diligence, all the financial information and other things that you've done go into what's known as the buyer portal. And so you share that with somebody who's already signed an NDA. So the sale page attracts people, but it's that narrative and that special story and some of the top level financials that you've kind of entered into your dashboard that turns into a sale page that you can share on social media, you can share, you know, by email list, hopefully people start to pass it around. It gets that attention focus on your business, invites that conversation in and the work that you've done by uploading P&L statements and balance sheets and entity formation documents and all this other stuff of why am I doing this? You then click a button that says, okay, share it with these two prospective buyers. Then you can control who's going in, what they see, and they're able to get the information that they need. Now you're moving through due diligence with the confidence of, I have all the information there that you know any professional buyer would want to see. Eric, just to make sure I understood correctly, all this is offered by Exit uh, Guide. Uh, yeah, the sale, absolutely. Besides getting a dashboard and the score and all the resources to assist to get that score as high as possible, also you generate a sale page, which right. they can share as a link. When somebody yep. shows interest, they'll sign the NDA and the they'll gain access to uh, financials of the business. And yes. because everything is uh, so transparent and formatted uh, in exactly uh, the way the buyer would expect, it's easy for them to make a decision. And do you get involved with the due diligence or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the due quality of earnings come into play, the things on the legal side with how does the... Do you get involved in any of that? Or your well, it, it, the thing? answer is it depends. Where, I mean, if it's, for example, just legal templates, you want to get an asset purchase agreement or a business purchase agreement, we provide those. If you want an attorney to actually take a closer look or ask specific questions, that is something that we're likely to refer out. So where it gets very specific and customized, we absolutely can make referrals. If it's something that is a question around should I be generating this type of cash flow statement versus a, a income statement versus whatever? Maybe if there's tactical questions about the process, that's included in your subscription plan. If it's something that requires professional advice, such as a CPA or an attorney, we are going to refer that out to one of our partners. Yeah, and they're probably already working with someone because by the time they got to the place where they've been sharing their private info, everything is already cleaned up and they're probably it, working with someone it, closely already. 